What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're about to go over the easiest way to generate millions and millions of stubs. This is my personal go-to stub making method in MLB The Show 22, Roster Investments. Let's get into the breakdown. If you want to complete every collection super, super fast, head over to my sponsor and use code FAT for 5% off your order. Super fast and reliable. So there is a few different ways to generate massive stubs in MLB The Show 22. You can either buy players at quick sale and sell off a of hype, or you can buy players that you expect to go up at the next roster update, okay? Both of those methods generate tons and tons of stubs. You can be a no money spent player with all the collections finished in MLB The Show 22 by generating stubs through both of those methods. Today, we're gonna to be concentrating on what investments can potentially make you millions over the next few days, okay? Now, when it comes to roster investments, it's always best to buy players at the quick sell value so then you can sell off at the max. Meaning, once a player, a 83, a 84 overall goes diamond, it becomes a 3,000 quick sell worth of stubs. All right, the first card we're gonna go over is the center fielder for the Atlanta Braves, Michael Harris, 84 overall. Right now, you can get him for under 2,100 stubs, and he has the potential to go to 2,900 stubs off of hype that can generate you massive stubs or you can hold him. Make sure that you have at least 50 of these investments so you can turn around and have 100,000 stub profit or more, okay? He has the chance to go diamond at the next roster update. He's coming in with a 1.004 OPS. He's batting a 341 with a 602 slugging over the past 30 days. Four bombs and 15 RBIs. He also has four stolen bases. So if you used to look at his attributes, he already has diamond defense. The only thing he would need is an adjustment to his contact. All right, the next card we're gonna go over is 84 overall Christian Walker, okay? Christian Walker has gold hitting and gold defense. Right now he's coming in at 2,037 stubs and over the next 48 hours, you can see his buy now jump all the way up to about 28, 2,900 stubs because he only needs a plus one. Christian Walker over the past 30 days is betting a 1,000 OPS, a 604 slugging and a 323 average. He also has seven bombs and 21 home runs and he doesn't have any stolen bases, but he's coming in with six extra base hits over the past 30 days also. So Christian Walker right now, if you can get him at about 1800 stubs, that would be the max stub opportunity. But right now you are still giving yourself, buying him at 2000 stubs off a of hype alone. He can go up to 28, 2900 stubs. That would be about a 650 stub profit after taxes. But if he gets that plus one, he's gonna go over 3000 stubs or you can just quick sell him for the guaranteed 700 to 750 stub profit. Each one of these stub investments you want to buy in a bulk of at least 50 cards. Therefore, you will have the opportunity to make at least 100,000 stubs. If you have five different investments, that would be 500,000 stubs and you would be very, very close to making millions in MLB The Show 22. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. We're going to go over another card that has been performing a little lower overall, and that is going to be Jeff McNeil. So if you come right here to Jeff McNeil, he's an 81 overall. He has the opportunity to get a plus two on the next roster update. Okay, so Jeff McNeil, you can buy him for 604 stubs. I think he can drop down a little lower, but right now, if you do get him for 600, he's still over the next 48 hours has an opportunity to go up to 1,400 stubs, which will be double your profit in your original investments. He has goal hitting, goal defense. He's gonna need a boost 
to most of them traits over the past 30 days he has a 1.019 ops a 588 slugging and he's coming in at a 402 batting average okay he's not the most powerful hitter only two home runs over the past 30 days 11 rbis but he does have 13 extra base hits in the past 30 days okay so over the past 30 days if you was to look at betting averages he would be sitting at the top of the entire mlb so 402 over the past 30 days with a 1.019 ops he is leading nathaniel lowe alex bregman nolan arenado and paul goldsmith so he has a chance to get a plus two the way that he's been hitting right now his contact is down but He's been hitting like a madman. Keep your eyes on Jeff McNeil. If you enjoy these stub making opportunity tips, make sure that you drop a thumbs up on the video. Go out, get some of these investments that I've been telling you. And I have about six to seven more investments over the next 48 hours that can generate you millions and millions of stubs. If you want to know what I'm talking about, make sure that you join the stream with your notifications on and I'll see y'all next time.